Hey, what's up guys? We're just here to show you how to use the camera feature in RE3 using your Muse to align your objects to a, a material in the bed. So the first thing we gotta do is do a camera capture of the workspace. Now, you wanna make sure your laser head is above your object first. You wanna come over to this white camera option here, and hit capture a workspace. Now it's gonna remind you to make sure that you move your laser head over top your object. And then you wanna do is come down here in the bottom corner and hit continue. Now what's gonna happen is the uh, machine's gonna actually take nine pictures of the laser bed right now. Now, as it moves across the laser bed, you'll see the camera head turn, uh, it'll actually move back a few inches and then uh, turn on a second red diode to double check the height of your material. The lights will go off for a second, they'll take an ambient light reading, and then you'll see the camera, uh, excuse me, the laser head with the camera on it, move around the bed and take nine photos of the bed and then stitch them together, which you'll see the stitching process happening here on the screen. Now, this stitching process uh, happens completely in the background, there's nothing you need to do, and then what will happen is, as this process is done, you'll see the object inside the laser bed right here on the screen. Now, what's great about this is you can use, um, if you're on a Mac, you can use control, oh sorry, command click. If you're on a PC, you can use command, but you can actually move the laser head out around to any position on this object you would like. Now, in order for position this object, you need to have something in your workspace. So we're just gonna drag and drop over this handy dandy, actually let's bring over the PNG, since we'll just be doing an engraving, we just need one layer. Now this is just gonna import the file, now that happened real time, right in front of you there folks. Um, looks like we will invert uh, this, do a threshold real quick, and just position this size down a little bit. Now, as you can see, it takes a little bit of computing power to do uh, the resize. So use your binding box as you're doing the resizing to position. So you can drag right over there, change the size. Looks like the needs goes to a little bit smaller, actually. So you can position your uh, your um, your image right over top of your uh, material, just like that. So now that you have your position checked, you want to make sure sometimes that. Uh, things are in the right spot so again you can control click anywhere on the laser bed uh, sorry on your um, workspace there and the laser head will actually bounce around so if you want to make sure that certain areas of your object uh, were where they were supposed to be you can command click um, anywhere on here and it'll bounce around and that is how you use camera capture to look at the workspace on your Muse hobby laser using RE3